Roman Vasilenko, you're the Deputy Foreign Minister for Kazakhstan. Donald Tusk will be flying off to Kazakhstan. What will the main objective of this visit be from your perspective? Yes, we look forward to welcoming President Donald Tusk, um, uh, which will be uh, uh, the first visit uh, by the European, uh, by the President of the European Council in a long while. It he won't be the first. Uh, President Van Rompuy visited Kazakhstan for the OEC summit, not with the bilateral visit. So for the bilateral visit, that's the first, and we're excited about that. We are also uh, excited by the fact that it takes place even exactly now, as you mentioned, right after the uh, European parliamentary election, right after the uh, summit of the, that we'll be discussing the Spitzen candidate, and before Kazakhstan's election. So it's a very interesting time for the leaders to uh, address uh, the issues to check their watches, as we say, on important uh, matters of regional security, climate change, uh, and uh, on the important matters of uh, the introduction of the new EU strategy for Central Asia. Which brings me to why you're here this week. Uh, that strategy rests on two main pillars, resilience and prosperity. And I believe that this week you're going to be addressing the resilience question. What does that mean in terms of EU-Central Asian relations? Well, first of all, we welcome the adoption of the new EU strategy for Central Asia. And uh, it has been uh, approved by the European Commission. It, it has yet to be approved by the Council of Foreign Ministers, but everybody expects that this will be done because it was developed in a very thorough way uh, through a very inclusive process including uh, our, ourselves. So we were invited to contribute, and we're happy that some of the proposals that we have been putting forward found their way into this strategy. In fact, uh, the meetings uh, in Brussels this week, uh, which is called the High-Level Security and uh, Political Dialogue, is um, um, a regular fixture. Uh, it has been taking place for six years now, so it has been in place under the previous strategy, but um, it falls perfectly under the resilience part of the new strategy. And we will be addressing, uh, continuing our joint uh, programs and uh, efforts to fight drug trafficking in Central Asia and to strengthen borders in Central Asia under two uh, programs that the European Union plans to continue from what we understand. And one is called BOMCA, the uh, meaning border management uh, in Central Asia. The other one is called CADAP, Central Asia Drug uh, Assistance Program.